Okay, now can you hear me? Sorry about that. My It likes to reset all of my settings every time. I don't understand why. Testing. Okay. Is this making a sound? There we go. Cool. Hi, everyone. What I was saying was it feels like it's been forever because it has been forever. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. All right. Just a moment. Let me generate a seed. Hehe. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna randomize items, enemies, and doors. And we're gonna do Jill normal. Okay, I'm so excited to play this. I've been wanting to play this uh, for, for so, so long. Hello, everyone. Okay. All right, so for those of you who don't know, this is Resident Evil Randomizer, which is going to... So the way it works is like, imagine you go to pick up an ink ribbon, and then it's a lighter. Or instead of a room having zombies like it's supposed to, it has sharks. Like, that's what it does. So let me just set this up. Alright, and we should be good to go. This was such a pain in the ass to get working, but I finally did. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, yeah, and also I fucked up my hair. <laughs> I have to... I was trying to go for Resident Evil 4 Leon, because eventually I'm I'm working on a cosplay of him, and I wanted it in time for November, and I have to let my hair heal, because I damaged it a lot. So it's a little orange right now, but you gotta live with your mistakes and own them, you know? Resident Evil. Whew. Oh, link the files. Um, if I remember, I'll do them uh, afterwards. I didn't think to do that. Uh, and just so you know, if you do download this, um, make sure you read all the instructions and install the patch. And it's going to say that it's a virus. It's not. It's just an unsigned executable. Ah. <sighs> just because I had to. That was what was causing problems. And also for some reason, so you can open Steam games from within your folders. Don't do it that way, because it'll just crash. You have to open it from the Steam application. I don't know why. That's what took forever to figure out. Only three stars. And also, I don't know how far what in the game we're going to get, because it's it's random. I could, you know, end up in a room full of tyrants. So, there's going to be one room that is going to be full of Lisa Trevor. There's going to be one room that's full of tyrants, and all the other enemies are just going to be mixed up uh john john i i was really busy um oh yeah look see that so picking up an ink ribbon and it's the the fertilizer or whatever or i guess the plant killer or whatever um yeah i'm so sorry i haven't streamed you guys it's just like life happened nothing bad it's just i was really busy and then it was like oh i can't stream because this is happening or i can't stream because i have to go do this so just so you guys know <clears throat> capcom's being sued for stolen artwork Ooh. whoa sharks oh my god already right right out the gate this is so cool. Oh, what? Oh, that's the door I came in from. See, this is really fun as a Resident Evil fan because you don't know what you're going to get. Every room is... Oh. Why aren't they biting me? So that that's another way it works is rooms are connected in all the wrong ways. See? Now I'm in the lab already. But it's just... It's so cool. Like, this is amazing. And you have to pick up every item. Alright, I'm gonna have to like focus on keeping up with the chat. I'm so sorry. I'm, I know I'm really bad about that. Alright, hold on. John. Ada! Oops. Fuck! <laughs> okay, this is why I have to focus on one thing at a time. Can you tell I have, I've had my coffee today? I'm like, ah! And I will have a soda at some point. I'm so excited to have a Pepsi, because I have not had a Pepsi. I only have them when I stream, so it's been, like, forever. 
Oh, hold on. So, there's an Easter egg here. If you type the old password, it makes tofu sound. Uh, mole. Allegedly, it does. Ah, Maybe it's only in the GameCube version or something. People speed run this? How do you speed run this? Sharks are adorable. I'm not scared of them. Well, like, I mean, if I was swimming and one was coming at me, I'd be scared. But, like, I think they're really misunderstood. Same with snakes. There's a lot of snakes that if you just watch their behavior, they act like... Kind of like dogs. They're very cute. Like that one vine when the guy's sharing his lollipop with the snake. Like... Okay, herb... <clears throat> Morning from Australia, nice. <laughs> Resident Sharknado. Oh! So the weird thing about the enemies that I've noticed is, like, they'll make the sound of whatever enemy is supposed to be in there. Because I went into one room when I was testing this, and, like, it was full of, uh... Well, I couldn't see what was there, and I just heard the sound of... You know when zombies vomit? It was just like, blah, 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 like over and over, and I was like, what's going on? And then it was like, a bee. <laughs> I was like, what? No, I, I do need Pepsi. I don't know if you guys watch Good Mythical Morning, but they recently did a video on the most addictive foods, and I was shocked that soda was not number one, because I've been able to like cut every junk food out of my life but I just I'm so addicted to soda sugar is is really evil and bad what oh my god this is so I'm telling you this is like the best thing ever I don't think I'm ever gonna play this normally again unless maybe when Lisa J is on she sends her love by the way I think they should introduce this like as a legit mode in Resident Evil games because it's so much fun. I mean, it really, really adds. Oh wait, Lisa J's. I mean, Lisa... oh god, Lisa J. Lisa Trevor. <laughs> Lisa Trevor is gonna be in here somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. The game's very confused right now. I don't think it knows what's going on. Oh god, what's gonna be in the Shark Tank? Wait, there's nothing in the shark tank. Or, I'm sorry, the Aqua Ring, the infinitely cooler name for this area. <clears throat> oh, it's sharks. Sometimes the randomizer just puts the right enemy in the right place. That gunfire. <laughs> what? I'm counting on you. To <laughs> Imagine someone who's never played Resident Evil tuning into one of these, and they're just like, "This game has a very poorly written story." <laughs> yeah, losing weight. It's it's all about diet. You know, it's funny, I realized something about myself recently. I'm really, really into nutrition. Like, um, I love the thought of food being not medicine, but like, you know, you are what you eat kind of thing. And what's really interesting is uh, the number one... I don't know if you guys still do that in high school. I don't know if that's been like done away with but when i was in school <laughs> oh <gasps> what the fuck that's so creepy it made zombie sounds um what what's happening what is that is that a spider or is that a chimera oh hi buddy what you doing <laughs> what are you doing I don't think he's got enough room to breathe in here. Well, anyway. Um, uh, what was I talking about? I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, career aptitude test. Do you guys still do those? Because when I did it, 
three years in a row, I got a fitness instructor, which was like, what? Because I was a couch potato gamer back then. And, oh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Um, it's interesting because they were close. I was really, really interested in nutrition more than anything because, like, again, I'm not a fitness instructor, but what I will tell you and pretty much any trainer will tell you is uh, you can work out and work out and work out, but if you're not eating right, you're not really going to see any results. So um, that's the route that I go. I go heavy on the, the healthy foods and light on the exercise. Anyway, I know nobody asked for that information. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see what these herbs are. Okay, that herb is a dagger. And this herb is a blue herb. Okay, my inventory is a mess. <clears throat> my favorite Resident Evil villain is probably Wesker. I think he's one of the best villains in gaming. R.I.P. Oh, and people were asking about Lisa J. We will have her back. Uh, at the very least, we're going to have her for Resident Evil 6 uh, for uh, Sherry's campaign. Because, I mean, she's got to know the full story about Sherry. Where are we? Oh, now we're in the mines. Oh, I don't have the crank. All right, we're going to have to come back. <clears throat> Hi, buddy. Excuse me. Oh, don't, 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 don't do it. I really don't want to. Okay. I can't get through. You know, you are lucky. Oh, shit. Wow, am I going to die this early? Just... Dude, move, I don't want to kill you. Am I poisoned again? Okay. Now I'm injured, thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, Jan, I did do a Code Veronica stream, but uh, I do have one planned. I was actually going to do it today and then I was like no I'll save it for another time but there's a there's a cheat that's sort of a mod but not really where you can play code Veronica in first person but it's really glitchy so it causes all sorts of weird things to happen and I thought that would be fun to do together but that will be for another day uh, thank you comma girl yeah I just I never want to tell people how to live their life or what to do. I just share what I've learned and it's totally, you know, it's your life. You do whatever you want. If you guys love eating junk food and you don't care, then that's your prerogative and as long as you're happy. I don't take any supplements. Uh, oh, there's a dog there and he's sleeping. That's really weird. Oh, and he's awake. Why is everything herbs? I need keys and stuff. Hi, puppy. Oh, God. Run. Oh, there's ammo. It could be a key. No, it's everything's herbs and ink ribbons. What kind of loser ink ribbon? What? Oh, thank you, Daniel Dark Magician, for the two Thanks. pounds. Thanks. Much appreciated. Take this. Lady Demon Trisco. Where's my Jill sandwich? Oh god, that's a fan fiction waiting to happen. Resident Evil 8 multiplayer? I don't think there is Resident Evil 8 multiplayer. Although, I, I really want to play Resident Evil 6 Mercenaries. Because, like, that, that mode is what made that game for me. I love it so much. Uh... Sorry, lysergic acid. But I'm glad you're... Wait, what? I'm glad you're able to stop in. I'm, I almost streamed last Wednesday, but then I didn't. <laughs> so 
some YouTubers working on Resident Evil. Ah, uh, there's a B. Resident Evil Zero ROM hack. Interesting. Oh. Mm, sure. All right, hold on. <laughs> nope. Get off me. It is possible to get stuck um, in some places, so like we might have that look to look forward to. Wow, my inventory, like what is going on with these items I'm picking up? Oh, Dale, Hold thank you for fire. the five pounds. This randomized looks super fun, glad you're able to get it working, good luck. On this run, not sure you'll make it. I don't know if I will, we'll have to find out, but thank you buddy. This actually isn't like the best seed. Some of the other ones were really interesting. Like uh, when I was testing this, one of the, the zombies, you know the zombie that comes out of the closet? <laughs> That's funny. Um, It was Lisa Trevor. So that was like, ah, it's a lot of fun stuff. You never know what's gonna happen. But let's just keep going and we'll see what we find. That's a hunter. He's gonna lop my head off. Uh. Why is he not doing anything? Excuse me, sir. Do you know where I can find a radio shack? Ah! Oh! Ow! <laughs> My leg! Where am I? Okay. Oh god, there's so many doors. I, I have to mentally keep track of where everything is because nothing is where it's supposed to be. And you have to examine everything, because something looks like ammo or first aid spray, but it's not. I remember where you are up to still. Oh, I can't carry any more items. Fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna use this since I'm on caution. I forgot what this gives me, but we're just gonna... Am I going to do village secrets and easter eggs? Um, eventually. So, like, I like to... I know I jumped on the, the Lady D video, but I like to um, take my time with the secrets and easter eggs because there's not often enough information to, like, really make a good video like I want to. So I wait a little bit. Wait, what? I don't remember this puzzle. Am, am I high? Oh. What? Whatever. <laughs> oh god, yeah. If Lisa J sees the, uh, the fetus. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna freak out. So many people have sent me thumbnails of her, like, or screenshots of her reactions, and it's just, like, the funniest, most tragic thing, because she's just, like, horrified. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, look, we're in House Benevito, or however you say it. How do you say it? Is it ben Benevieto? Well, I guess you can't tell me via typing, but... Wait! There's something in there. I need. There's an item in there, isn't there? Um. I could have sworn there was something in here. Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, items, enemies, and door placements are all uh, randomized. Oh, uh, you guys are sweet. Thank you. There it is. Thank you for complimenting my hair. I'm, I'm really, like, ashamed of it. That's why in my last video I wore a hat. Because, like, this is after I fixed it. You guys should have seen how orange it was. It was it was a mistake. I, I'm i just going to go to a salon next time. Because, <laughs> like... Ugh. Another ink ribbon. 
Oh, thank you, Talpa, Talpa Pan, Pantera Uncia, for the five dollars. Imagine a randomizer for Resident Evil 2 remake. You walk into a room full of Mr. X's that follow you everywhere for the rest of the game. I think there actually is a version of this for Resident Evil 2 Remake, but I think it's just items. Because since Resident Evil 2 Remake is kind of like open world, I don't know if it works that way. Oh, Crimson Head. Ah! Oh my god, why did that scare me so bad? That is such a horrible sound. Oh, that made my heart jump a little bit. Ben, ben that gunfire. Ben. I'm. <laughs> ben E. Vito. Okay. Uh, H. Gamer Queen. Welcome to Bronze. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh God! Now we're going back in circles. Oh, I really don't like these sharks. Jill, run for that house. <clears throat> Alright, I went that way before. Let's go this way. Oh, just kidding. What are these? <sighs> Can I just use a blue herb? I'm trying to find that one hallway again. Is it here? Oh, there's the hunter again. Ah! Oh, there's shotgun ammo over there. Ah! I need like a more powerful weapon. <laughs> oh, Daniel Dark Magician, thank you for the five pounds. I love Maggie Robertson's chats on IGN. Yeah, she's really funny. Oh, you're right. I should I should maybe reach out to her. Thanks. Much appreciated. For an interview. Take this. Oh, Tiffany Fox, thank you for the ten pounds. Hello, you look good. Hope you're doing well. Enjoying the stream. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate all you guys being here. All big guy. 360 of you. Wait, what? Did that door just lead me back in here? Yeah, Sasha Zatova. I, I like, as a content creator, I'm really proud of her because she... She saw the opportunity to launch herself and she did it. And that's, that's really smart and great. All right, I can report back to Wesker now. All right, we're gonna kill this zombie. Ooh. <laughs> Seeing Jill's boobs makes me feel better, cause in my game, her breast physics are basically like the same for my character, and I felt like it was too much. But now seeing Jill actually jiggles more than I remember. Not trying to be a perv, I'm just being observant about game physics. Cause, I mean, that's what boobs do, they jiggle. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> What's the Thanks. next video I'm gonna make? Take this. Oh, thank you Megan Sampson for the $5 and for tuning in. Thank you so much. Uh, the next video I'm planning, at least the script that I've written, is the video on the color red in gaming. That's one that's been requested a lot, and I think you guys will like it, because red is a fantastic color. I think it's the second most popular color after blue. Um, where does this lead to? Uh, Jordan, you don't have to do that. That's totally fine. I always tell you guys, there's really no need to donate. Whoa. But I, I appreciate those who do very, very much. I'm just happy you guys are here, honestly. That's that's all I need in life. Jiggle sandwich. 
You know, it's funny. So many people have, have commented or messaged me saying that Barry says Jiggle Sandwich, but he doesn't. He just laughs in the middle of saying Jill, so it comes out like Jill. So it's like Jill Sandwich. But he's not saying Jiggle Sandwich, I promise you. I wonder if the last room is in this. I don't think it can be, because if you go to the... I hear enemy, but I don't see enemy. Hello? If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. Oh, Bropez! Thank you so much for the $5. I told you didn't have to do that. Hey girl, hey, long time subscriber. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Bropez is uh, my friend from college and he's super awesome. And we just talked on the phone yesterday and now he's here, just like he said. Thank you, thank you so much, buddy, for being here. Oh, oh. Ben Moody, welcome to Bronze. Thank you so much for becoming a member. You're awesome. I, you've been here before, right? Because I remember your name being the same as the guitarist from Evanescence. Either way, thank you and welcome. Hello. Crap, I need to take some of this stuff with me. I really need to find an item box so badly. Oh, you just stay over there, buddy. No, do not take the green herb. Uh, I did get a PS5. Finally. And for those of you who really, really want one, all I'll tell you is, like, there's not that many games for it yet. You're not missing anything. Just be patient and keep trying. I know that's probably easy for me to say, but... Like, I've been playing mostly PS4 games on it. Ooh! Uh. The, the only thing I will say that's really cool is the haptic feedback. Ah! Oh, it's a spider. Move! What is with you spiders? Oh, you dickhead. Am I poisoned? Okay, good. Somehow, that didn't poison me. So... What the fuck is going on? Get off me! When it comes to the Metal Gear stream, I still don't know how to go about that because the story- Oh! Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm on danger, I'm gonna die. Run! Oh! <laughs> Wait, I don't know which door to go through. Ah! Um, just the cutscenes alone in Metal Gear Solid 1 is four hours long. So... It's like, ah, because the gameplay isn't that exciting, and the cutscenes are too long, so it's like, it's just not a good game for streaming, but we'll see. It's just going to turn into me, like, doing Snake's voice the whole time. <laughs> the Moonlight Sonata. This is so weird, and I'm so lost, I don't even know. Oh, can't go that way. The door is held tightly to prevent leakage. Ah, yes. We must forbid flooding, Mr. Potter. I did not get my silver play button yet. I haven't gotten an email, notification, nothing. And I talked to my management and I was like, what's up? And they're like, it just takes some time. And I'm like, oh, finally. But it's okay. I care more about the the channel than the the silver play button. Well, you guys will see that behind me on the wall when I get it. I'll probably live stream like opening it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I always accidentally kill the herbs and I cannot do that for this or I will be stuck. Okay, red. Cuz those herbs could all be key items and if I kill them, I can't pick them up and then we got to start all over. 
I'm definitely gonna die during this run. Like, I, I can already feel it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Ghostwire Tokyo. I'm so excited for that game. That's like really the only new game that I'm like, oh, and it's made by Shinji Mikami, who is the original creator of Resident Evil, so that's got my vote. Ooh, herb. I actually need one, thank you. Wait, let me make sure none of these are red herbs. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter, because I can't mix them. Oh, well... Wait, oh, he must have set it up so these herbs stay herbs, that way you can't get stuck. Smart. Pull bongs during cutscenes, oh my god. I have thought about that, like if I did um, like a stream where I took a gummy at the beginning and then just like by the end of it I'm like, eh. <laughs> But I don't want to get in trouble, and I don't know what I'll say or do, so. What the? Oh. See what I mean about the sounds? Like, that's so weird, right? <sighs> 25 facts about Ethan. You know, it's funny. I didn't think anyone wanted that, but so many people have been asking for it. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I mean, he's been in two games. There's got to be at least 25 things I can find about him that are worth mentioning. Oh, you asshole. Why'd you do that? What did I do to you? Alright, well, now that I'm poisoned, I am most definitely going to die. Oh my god, Diamond, you've missed so much. I'm just kidding. Just a lot of nonsense. A lot of Resident Evil nonsense. That's what you've missed. There was sharks and top hats and crimson heads and, and sexy outfits. Is there anything up here? No. I just got poisoned for nothing. I was going to do the Resident Evil clones video, but several YouTubers beat me to it, and like, I don't want to be accused of like, stealing content, because they covered pretty much all the games I was going to talk about. I think one of them was Avalanche Reviews, and I don't remember what the other one was, but those are those are out there, and they're, they're pretty much what I would have made, so... How come there's no z naked zombie? Oh god. I need an item box so bad. Every time that I've tested this, I always like very quickly ended up in an inventory room. Oh! Oh, but there's a hunter. Oh god. I'm telling you, this mod keeps you on your toes. Or whatever, randomizer. Is this a mod? I guess it's a mod, right? Alright. Uh, I hate bees. Well, I love bees. As long as they're not attacking me. Oh, I hate that sound. It's like vomiting and breaking your neck at the same time. <sighs> I thought he I thought Shinji Mikami created Evil Within. I I I I need to play that. So many of you guys keep asking me for it. But oh why is there a dead zombie? What? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Sir? Uh, I am an officer. You can't sleep here. Whatever. Um, let's see where this goes. Better finish searching the hall. Ugh. 
Oh my god, the dead zombies bury. <gasps> it replaces NPCs too. Barry is the dead crimson head. <laughs> okay, if he's gone there. after this cutscene. Any luck, Jill? Thanks. I may need it. Listen. Did that just say I can't? <gasps> I didn't take the lockpick because my items were full. Uh oh. Well, that just broke the game, and he's gone. So Barry was the dead crimson head. What is going on? This is insane. I think I'm gonna have to like restart because. I mean, I don't think you can beat the game without the lockpick, but I have no idea what is possible anymore with this mod. Everything's soaking wet. Oh, yeah. Hello, Bazarine. Thank you. Everything's great. Okay, what are these? Another mask? Oh, Courtney Nicole! Wow, thank you so much for joining Gold. Welcome to the family. Oh, fuck. Oh, Ben Moody, thank you for the $10. Figure it out. Thanks for all the entertainment, Kai. Thank you so much. By the way, did you guys know that Ben Moody, the guitarist from Evanescence, was in the second Resident Evil movie as a zombie? He made a cameo. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh, uh, Comic Girl. Thank you for the $5. Hey Kai, my nephew's graduating from high school in about a week. What's a great gift idea that won't break my wallet? I miss you, by the way. Aw. Hmm. I'm a human. Gifts for grads. <sighs> well, cocaine is too expensive. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Oh god, I don't know. I'm like... You lose, I like to give people guy. gifts based on what I know they like. So unless I know the person, I I am really bad at like recommending stuff. Um, what I recommend for any gift is there's a lot of times where people they'll buy stuff that they want for themselves. Wait, what did I just do? Oh. Uh, they'll buy stuff they want, but they never buy things they need. So, like, I like to buy things that people, I know they need it, but they won't buy it for themselves, you know? I am gonna just not remember where anything is. I'm wondering if I should just restart this. <laughs> If I was playing as Chris, that boulder would not be a problem. Aw, uh, thank you, Diamond, for the two pounds. I am having so much fun. And I'm having many confusion. <laughs> and like I'm I'm a hair away from death. If a zombie so much as sneezes on me, I'm dead. And I really need to find an item box. So bad. <laughs> also, I may have this to... Is what you're looking for, right? I may have to open a window because it's getting hot in here. But my neighbors are really loud. So I have to choose, like... Do I want to die in the heat? Or do I want to have loud noises? How do I feel about the recent direction of Resident Evil? Oh! Wow, how did that not kill me? Um, I... So... Village... I would prefer if it was more... Like, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I don't know, because I'm torn. I really, really, genuinely love Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake as far as, like, gameplay goes. But I love fixed camera survival horror. And I would be ecstatic for another one. 
That's why I'm making a fixed camera game instead of a an over the shoulder one. Because it's like if Capcom Did he hit me? I have no idea what's going on. Oh! Nope, don't do it. Let's see what the, the capsule is. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Please deposit 75 cents to continue. It's an herb, I actually need it, but I can't pick it up. Please don't spider, please don't, please don't. Woo, get out of my way. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Oh, the game is not supposed to be like this. Something weird is going on. Oh. I should just restart, but I'm stubborn. Something will kill me eventually. Um, yeah, so like, clothes is a great example. It's funny because now as an adult, I love getting like socks and stuff like that because it's. I'm, I'm guilty of it too. It's something that I should be buying and I don't. Why fixed camera angles? Um, from an artistic standpoint, I really like how the developers are able to show you exactly what they want you to see. And, like, there's Thanks. a certain cinematic Take quality. This. Oh my god, thank you, Courtney Nicole, for the $20. Oh, and thank you, Ben Moody, for the $1. You guys. I feel like Miss America sometimes when you guys <laughs> do that. Just put on a crown, my mascara running, be like, oh my god. Um, but like, see right now, this camera is showing you only this, this view, you get to see the river down below, it's got the atmospherics, whereas when you can control the camera, it's, I don't know, the environments aren't as memorable, there's a, there's a lot. Maybe I should do a video on that. <laughs> Here's my video on why fixed camera angles Thanks. are Much better. Thanks, appreciated. Take this! Oh my god. I'm gonna end up finding like... No! <laughs> oh my god. Stop teasing the tip. Just do it. Ugh. So when we restart this, I'll generate a new uh, randomization seed and then it'll be completely different. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna die and we're gonna start over. Alright. Give me a... Give me a moment. Okay, random seed generator, items, enemies, doors. Okay, let's have some fun. So, we're gonna do many tyrant spawns. So the way I have it set up is there's only one room that will have tyrants, only one room that will have Yawn, and one room that will have Lisa. We're gonna just make it random so that they could just be multiple times, anywhere, anytime. All right, so let me get this up and running. Just give me a moment. Yes. All right, Jill, normal. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. There's like a million menus all over my screen to get this working. Okay, all right, we're good. Is the game showing up? Yeah, okay. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, a set of towels. That's the kind of stuff, it's like, I don't know why people don't buy themselves things they need more. But again, I'm guilty of it too, you know, because it's like, ooh, I want this new video game, even though, you know, all my socks have holes in them. <laughs> Hello, Lupe, welcome. Ever played Final Fantasy 3? Uh, 
Yes, actually, I did. I played the the DS version, I think, a long time ago when I was in college. It was alright. That one, it was all about the gameplay. I literally could not tell you what the story was about, except that, of course, there was a, a crystal. Alright, what's the ink ribbon? It's an herb. Ah, Okay, I'm not going to pick up everything this time. I'm not going to pick up key items until I find an inventory box, because otherwise, we're going to have problems. And sharks. Life can be a surprise. That room always has spiders in it. I think there has to be spiders. Like, I think it's a scripted... Yes, I know. Shut up. Woo! Oh, fuck off. Oh, he didn't poison me. Whoa, I got both... Oh, I'm immediately picking up everything. Which is exactly what I said I wouldn't do. <laughs> Alright. I will take the blue herb. Because. Okay. Shotgun ammo. Another blue herb. Alright. Shotgun ammo and blue herb in the spider room. You lose, big uh, Daniel Dark Magician. Thank you again for the $5 Resident Evil Village randomizer. Call it the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Nice. I approve of that title. I actually need a little bit of a break from village. I like those mercenary levels. Like whoever designed the last four of those levels should be slapped across the face. I'm sorry, but they're way too hard. I don't even care about the stupid lightsaber anymore. I just want the trophy so I can move on with my life. Another stun gun? Ink ribbon. Alright, I will take the pistol ammo. Okay. Uh, oh, I came from this way, so I'll go through the door that's over here. No, that wasn't part of our deal. Oh my god. Do I love Heisenberg? He's okay. I think, um... Once, like, they introduced him and he, or not when they introduced him, but, like, when he started revealing that he was against Mother Miranda, I was like, why didn't you tell us this before? This is a great story element. But, I don't know. Village is, like, really good and really bad at the same time. <laughs> oh, hey, Barry. I'll come back. Woo! I actually have not played any Resident Evil 7 DLC. I didn't realize it, but yeah, like, I I need to go back and do it. I'll have to, maybe I'll do that on a live stream sometime, but the, oh my god. The, uh, the end of Zoe, and then the other one. Actually... I think I played the one. Thanks, much appreciated. Take this. Where you're locked in the bedroom and she brings you food or something. Aw, oh, comic girl. Thank you again for the two dollars. Did you ever get a puppy yet? Not yet. Still, still on the cards. It's just a matter of getting more settled, cause it's a lot. Like every time I think about getting one, I'm like, oh, but what if we go out of town? Or what if I have to do this? Or like, cause like my neighbors have dogs and they just. If they leave, the dogs go crazy and they're crying, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't do that to my dog. But I, I, I promise I will introduce you guys the moment I do. And Cindy Williams, or I'm sorry, Sydney Williams, thank you for the $10. I love your video so much, Kai. Join the stream, do you have a P.O. box? Oh, I forgot. Big guy. Wait. Okay, somewhere on my desk, which is currently a mess, I do have uh, papers to fill out for a P.O. box. I completely forgot about it. Um, again, I'll let you guys know. I'll have one for three months, and then that's it. Uh, 
if you guys want to send me something small or something to like show in a video that I can send back to you, that's fine. Thank you for reminding me. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Oh, this actually led me back in here. Alright, um... Crap, I don't remember which one I came out of. <laughs> what hole did I come out of? Mom? Alright, wind crest. That's my favorite crest design, by the way. The moon just, like, blowing the wind. I love it so much. I don't know why. I just do. Ah, I'm trying to set up that in my game right now where you can push stuff, but it is such a pain in the ass. There's like little things that you don't think would be that hard to do in video games as far as development, and then they end up being really like not what you thought. We just finished setting up, uh, my programmer surprised me, but, uh, you know in Silent Hill, when Heather, or James, oh, oh, I'm in a save room, oh, thank god, finally. Um, you know when Heather or, J or James are walking by items and they, like, look at them? Like, my character does that now, and it's amazing. Because it's like, hey, there's something over here. And they'll also watch enemies. It's so, like, if there's an enemy walking around, they'll, like, do that, and I know that that's that's small, but it adds a lot, you know? Wait, what did Nemesis say? I keep seeing everyone... <laughs> oh, Nemesis is best. Nemesis was a really good monster design. Oh god, it's so nice to just get stuff out of my inventory. Whew. I wonder... Oh yeah, so if you if you turn off the randomizer, it, uh, it immediately stops randomizing. There's like a big warning about that. So I guess if I save my game, I have to reload it with the randomizer, the same seed randomizer on. But we're doing this YOLO, because... Because, yeah. <laughs> yes, my hair is orange. For now. I will fix it later. Because I am not uh, qualified to do hair stuff. And I regret even attempting it. Uh... The, the game doesn't have, uh, oh god, I'm trapped. The game doesn't have a release date yet, but we're hoping, like, maybe nine months from now or so. But, um, yeah, there, there's not really anything to, oh, I'm trapped. Oh, wait, I could push this one, I think. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm doing a, a shower cutscene right now in Unreal, so I can't show you that because there's like actual nudity and I don't know what YouTube terms of service are with virtual nipples, but it's all in good taste. It's an homage to Parasite Eve, which I also need to play again. Oh, god damn it. Don't poison me. Ah. Oh. This is not going well. <laughs> Where do you go, my monkey? I'm like, way more lost than usual. Like, you guys know I get lost as it is. <laughs> okay. Why does it all keep leading back here? What? How did I end up here? Every door? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, it's going to be PC at first, and then 
uh, porting it to consoles will be top priority. Sorry, I don't know why I'm not killing stuff. I didn't even think about it. This is so weird. I wonder what they they look like when they die. Oh. Whoa. I'm so sorry, Jill. Oh, what's that? Man, the game must just be completely confused. I'm surprised this doesn't crash, because, like, I know that there's, like, sequence-breaking bugs. Because if you do things in the wrong order, the game gets, gets confused, and usually it just causes crashes. Oh, Barry didn't stop me. See, like, I'm doing things out of order. That gunfire. Oh. Oh, here we go. So if I try to leave this room, I think, two more times, the zombie will just come in and bypass the... Got cold feet already? The other cutscene. Hold your fire! I'm a human! Uh, Dark Hero, thank you for the ten dollars. Do I use Mixamo to animate? What Resident Evil game do you think has the best weapons and thoughts on UE5? Oh. Who is it? Talking my language now. Oh. That hunter is supposed to be Barry. <gasps> He's not attacking me. Hold on, I'll answer your question in a second. This is Excuse me. Hey, buddy. This is so weird. <laughs> what if I shoot him? I'm gonna shoot him from over here. Okay, he got activated. Um, I don't use Mixamo to animate. Uh, oh, just because it's a pain in the ass. I actually use a program called iClone for at least human animation. If not, I do it in Blender. And then um, I've also got my motion capture. Uh, so oh! No, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me! <laughs> what just happened? Uh, but, if you're starting out, Mixamo is a great option. Can I go through this door? Okay. Oh, wait. Um, what Resident Evil game has the best weapons? I think the OG Resident Evil 2. Oh no, I killed... I killed Barry, technically. So it's not gonna activate the cutscene now. I think I just soft locked the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the OG Resident Evil 2, like, I mean, the Desert Eagle, uh, the Browning HP. Okay, good. Any luck, Jill? It had just a nice variation, except for like the dumb weapons, specifically Claire's. Like, she got that stupid spark shot that like is just useless because it's so slow. I don't know. That that game had like the the quintessential uh, video game weapons, and uh, Unreal Engine Five is black magic wizardry that I can't believe exists, and I don't understand how it was created. Can't see what I'm shooting at. No 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 no. Uh, but if any of you are Unreal 4 Engine users, I've played with Unreal Engine 5, and you'll be pleased to know that the blueprint system and everything else, like, the interface is pretty much the same, which is very, very nice. Oh, no, 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 no. So anyway, as I adjust my glasses for all the nerdy talk. <sighs> okay. Ooh. That's not just a magnum. I think that's Barry's magnum, isn't it? Oh, God. I hate this. Do you guys remember this code? Because I don't.
What? Oh my god, forget it. I'll come back. And we're back, back in the Aqua Ring. Okay. What is this? It's a normal one? Okay. Oh, first aid spray, but I need a blue herb! Three, five, six. Three, six, five. Oh, I don't know. It was like in any order. Or wait, what? Oh shit! I can't go back. <laughs> okay then. Oh, that was my stomach. I did not fart. In case anyone heard that. <laughs> if I fart, I will do it directly into the microphone. That's what my OnlyFans is all about. I'm just kidding. Oh god. I do not have the dog whistle. But I can heal. Fuck. Whatever, I'm already poisoned. You have no power here. Bitch. zombie but it might be something else <gasps> Ooh, this is a much better seat it's giving me all the good weapons why yes I will take the grenade launcher I don't understand what's supposed to be in here, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. Uh, my thoughts on Resident Evil 8? Watch my review. I did a whole, why does it keep doing that? I exit this room and it puts me right back in here. I made a whole review about it and it's spoiler free up until a, a certain point. So, I put, I put all my thoughts there. Oh, there's blue. Oh, yes. Okay. Now we're now we're cooking with fire, baby. All right, I need to open a window. <laughs> because it's really really hot in here. Just a moment. <sighs> I feel like an old man because I've been going to the gym again, which is so nice to be back at the gym, but like I have no strength because I'm just so sore. Like nothing's working. Ah, uh, nice cool ocean breeze. Sorry about any barking or noises from outside, but... Uh, I will be playing Resident Evil 4 once my cosplay is ready. I will be playing it dressed as Leon. So you guys can look forward to that. Oh, you bitch. Oh, fucking asshole. Wait, was that a critical shot? Oh, thank you. Uh, it's Pepsi time. I need to make like a, a Pepsi break screen for my stream. 
All right, I'm gonna go back into that room and use the blue herbs. That's really gross. <sighs> okay. Oh, Comic Girl, thanks again for the $5 and for tuning in. I gotta get going, do some things. It's nice to see you, have fun. See you next time, Inky. Bye, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope the, the gift idea works out. Sorry I wasn't more help. But have a great day. Pepsi man. Oh yeah, my Samuel cosplay. I'm a human. Although I don't know if I could I could uh, do a gameplay session like that because like Samuel wears like literally two jackets. Oof. I need to do like some cosplay photo shoots once I've got more costumes because it's fun. Also, like, I don't know if this is, like, too detailed, but I was, like, thinking about Resident Evil 4 Leon, and then I was like, I wonder what kind of underwear he wears. Like, I don't know. I think Leon would be a briefs kind of guy, but I don't know. Not, like, tidy whities That's, like, Resident Evil 2 Leon. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Let's all share. Oh my god, thank you for your patronage. Oh, I'm totally going to make an emote of that. Or an alert, or whatever they're called. Whoa, the Master of Unlocking. Thank you so much for the 50... Canadian dollars? Uh... I, either way, thank you so much, and thank you for tuning in. Merry Christmas. <laughs> A little early, but thank you. Thank you very much. And on that note... You lose, big guy. Uh, here's some ASMR. Well, I guess you can't hear it with the game, but... Oh my god, you guys. I, I have been so excited for Pepsi. Ah. Oh, fuck yeah. Commando. I don't think he would be commando. Not not on a mission, anyway. Yep, item randomizer is on. Whew. Um, I think I'm stuck again. I think because of the aqua ring, I can't go back to where I need to be. <laughs> Wearing a thong, a tactical thong. This is, these are the questions we need for the developers to confirm. <laughs> it's like, I hate screaming children oh my god <sighs> yeah I'm I'm soft locked I can't progress because the aqua ring is locked all right why don't we try you guys want to try Chris and see how that oh god this is what I have to deal with all day do you know how hard it is to try to record a, a an increment video when all that's going on 24 fucking 7 I hate my neighbor so much I'm so sorry, but it's like really hot in here. I just need time to cool my apartment down a little bit. It is possible to drain the water, but don't I don't I have to like activate the emergency or whatever? I'll try. <laughs> Do I live next to a Karen? No. Just people who are 
not considerate of their neighbors. Oh, oh my god, I'm dumb. I didn't think about this. It's just, I'm confused because everything's out of order. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to I love Max this computer Malcini. voice. I don't know why. Like, she sounds like she's got a mouthful of food as she's saying all this stuff. <laughs> you know, like, she's like, Unknown source of pressure detected. <laughs> Wait, what? Can you guys tell I haven't played this in a really long time? I know, I know. This whole sequence is just like panic and push buttons. Uh, I live near the beach in California. And there's. Oops. I'm on it, lady. Relax. Um, beachside. I'm not like right at the beach. I'm I'm a couple blocks from the beach, but there's no air conditioning when you live that close to the water. That's just the way California is. I don't know why. Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. Drain the water. Okay. Thank you guys for telling me that. I don't know why I didn't think about doing that. In my head, the shark always attacks the glass, and then the emergency happens. I forgot you have to, like, examine the thing to cause that to happen. Okay, you guys said 365. Why is everything blue? Isn't it supposed to be different colors? Oh! I swear to God, if you guys poison me. to be poisoned after all that. I'm not. Wow. Are they dead? Did you guys stop? I'm gonna kill that fucking dog. I love animals, by the way. <laughs> Five, three, six, five, six, three. It don't work. Oh my god. <sighs> I know this, the puzzles aren't randomized. Oops, I stepped on a bee. Three. About to get really angry, so I'm just gonna. Ah! 
Exactly. Same energy, girl. I'm right there with you. <laughs> oh! They're everywhere! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> wow. A lot just happened. Wait, aren't there supposed to be some herbs over here? Oh. to to calm me down uh oh all right what I need an item that's in this closet what the good morning Bart, Lisa. Ooh. Uh, thank you, Dale, for the five pounds for that ice carol macchiato. Ah. Uh. You lose, big guy. I don't think I've ever had one of those iced. I think I usually do those hot. But thank you. I will. I will definitely get one of those maybe tomorrow. your dog eventually you should name it Pepsi oh my god you cannot name your dog birthday <laughs> uh, I'm sure you guys know pink uh, she had a dog named fucker so like oh fuck no oh So she'd be like, here, fucker, and the dog would be all cute, like, hi. I thought that was funny. Uh, thank you, Mark. It's, it's very, it's very copper right now. Uh, thank you, Elegance, for the $20. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Taking the lustrous blonde hair, very cute. Thank you, it's not... Yeah, that's enough about my hair. I feel like a like a valley girl. Like, oh my god, my hair Thanks. is not the Let's right shade. It. Take this. I think I'm gonna have to get like toner or something. And thank you, Elegons, for tuning in. Okay, uh, I'll just use a first aid spray. Uh, Mark Martoni, thank you for the $10. Big Papa is here. Hurry, get that P.O. box. I got something for you. Dig the hair. Okay. I know, I know. I'm working on it. I just kind of forgot because, like, Village took over my life when it came out. Everything that I was doing was just, like, in preparation of that game and then doing the live streams and then doing research on it for my other videos. And I was just like, ah. And then trying to get the Thanks. mercenaries. I was just like, Take okay. This. this is too much. I remember this room. But yes, I look forward to to having my my opening mail Thanks. from you guys Much video. Take this. Although I'm a little nervous. I'm like, what are people going to send me? Please don't send me a bomb. Because that's very illegal. Uh, Hylian Geek, thank you for the five pounds. So glad you're doing this. It's going to be so much fun watching this later. I'm just dropping in. Hope you and everyone in the chat is doing okay. Thank you so much. Yes, I think this will be uh, funner... Uh, more fun to watch later. <laughs> Hello, Yabai. 
Yebe Martinez. I'm sorry, I don't know how to, if I'm pronouncing your name right, but thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. Oh yeah, the purple shampoo, I forgot. I need to look that up. Uh, happy Pride Month. Uh, Dead by... So, okay, I played Dead by Daylight like when I was still like really into Resistance. Because Diamond was like, you have to play it or I'll kill you. And it's not that it was bad, it's just like, I don't think it was for me because I suck at like games like that and I was just dying and dying. Like I spent all my time in that game on a hook. <laughs> like just waiting to be saved. And then like the moment they'd get me off the hook, I was immediately back on it. And I was just like, m like mashing X trying to survive. And I was like, okay, I'm not having a good time. Maybe I'll return to it and try it out with the Resident Evil stuff, but oh, I'm sorry, please don't hate me. Oh good, an item box. Okay, what have we got? Um, I'm gonna leave the grenade launcher and the first aid spray. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. I'm running out of ammo here. Don't need that. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Take this. Oh, or take that. Oh, did I just waste that? Oh, fuck. Okay, stop, Jill. Okay, well, there's another one, and I've only got two handgun bullets, so... What the? Why is the arrow here? He survived a magnum shot? Oh. And I'm out of handgun ammo. Wait, what did I just pick up? Oh. Oh my god. There's just so much going on. Oh, thank you so much, Molly. Tormented Souls for the PS5. I think... That sounds familiar. I must have looked into something. Okay, I don't hear a dog, so I'm going to reopen the window. Oh, no. Oh, I should have taken the grenade launcher. What the... What just happened? Where did I go? Oh. Oh, come on. Fuck. I am in a pickle. Instead of the other way around. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. This is where auto aim is like the worst thing ever. Oh! Damn. Okay. Go, Jill, go! Go! No! Oh. You're our Amazon, Jill. One more. No! Other way! Fuck! Ah! No. Okay, whatever. Just go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Wait, what? Didn't I just come from here? <laughs> Jill's got ADD. She's like, "Ooh." Wait. What? Are you serious? I'm... I, I... Was that confusing or am I just stupid? What? 
Whoa! Enough! Aww. Okay, we're gonna try Chris, cause... Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Is the fucking dog still barking? Oh, thank you, Jesh... Je Jesh Tacular for the $10. Hey man, big fan of yours. Hope all is well. You're having fun. I love your videos, especially the character pack videos. Love the stream. And last but not least, notice B Senpai. I am noticing you. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh. Yeah, bay. Okay. And um, to all of you, thank you for tuning in. And like, I was talking. Oh, let me make a new seed. I was talking with my friend Lopez about this, but like, I feel so guilty when you guys like, because sometimes I rewatch my streams to like, you know. Because sometimes I miss things, and then I want to go back and, like, watch it again. And I see so many things that people were sending that I didn't read. Because, like, the chat was going too fast, or I was playing the game, or whatever. And if that happens, I am so genuinely, terribly sorry. I don't mean to ignore everyone. It's just really hard to keep up with the chat sometimes, you know? I love when Lisa's here, because she helps me with that so much. Like, she helps me a lot more than she realizes. <laughs> Alright, Chris, normal. Ooh, it is hot in here. Okay. Now, here's the thing about Chris. He doesn't start with a gun. He's supposed to go pick up Jill's handgun, which means... Unless I'm very, very lucky, I'm not gonna have anything more than a knife. Resident Evil. <sighs> okay. Display. Why? Yes. Yes. Okay. of fire. <laughs> oh, Elegons, you dirty girl. There are only three. <sighs> oh, hey, Beto. Is everyone alright? No, Jill, we're not alright, okay? There was sharks, and then there was like a million leaves of Trevor's, and I didn't have a gun, and then suddenly I had every gun, and then I died. Okay, Jill. Okay. <laughs> Just go to your place and do it, okay? I'm fine. <laughs> what is Pepsi Max? Is that like Diet Pepsi or something? Okay, I activated him. Now we're gonna go back. Your boyfriend gave up very quickly. Thank you, Mr. Ray Guns. Uh, I'm so happy to hear that. Like, when I, I find out that I'm the one who introduced people to Resident Evil, that's really, really special because this franchise means the world to me. I mean, it's literally become like my life. So, thank you. All right, what's the handgun? It's an ink ribbon. No! <laughs> what a cruel twist of irony. <laughs> well, fuck me. Okay. Um. All right, I have no idea what's about to happen. Let's just let's find out. This is part of the fun. That's why we're doing this. I have the wrong ear button. Okay. Um. Up and over. Pepsi. My sweeteners. Oh. Oh yeah, so, um, I don't know, I think I've told you guys this before, oh great, handgun rounds, um, there is, I think 25% of the population is what is called super tasters, and I'm one of them, you might be too, there's like tests you can take, and I took it in college, and that's how I found out, but basically, oh! That was yawn, okay. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, can I knife him from this box? Wow, that's a tight squeeze, big boy. Haha, -ha, you didn't plan on this, did you, you big slithering bitch? Come back here, fight me like a man.
Come back. Ooh. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. No. You did not do that before. Go back down. Whoa, he's like going through the wall and stuff. He's going around me. What? Whatever. He poisoned me, so this is only fair. Does anyone know how many knife takes? Knife hits it takes to kill Yon? Could you imagine how terrifying it would be? Woo! Like, I literally could not imagine a snake that big. I don't know what I would do. I would just poop and die. Uh, super... Oh, super taster. I was like, what are you talking about? Um, so yeah, super tasters, like, the only way I can describe it, and it's part of, like, one of the reasons I love cooking and nutrition and all that stuff, is, like, when I taste food... There's two of them? What the fuck is going on? Okay, I need to get out of this room. This is not, this This is a really bad place to be right now. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Run, Chris, run. Oh, stop getting bitten, Chris. No, don't push crates. This is not the time. My heart is racing. Oh, I need a blue herb. I need a blurb. I'm like never going to finish my story. I'm sorry. So, when I eat food, like let's say I have, oh God, I don't know, uh, uh, some type of food. I taste all the individual ingredients. I can taste like, oh, this has salt and pepper and paprika and cloves or garlic or whatever. Ooh. And um, for some reason, I'm really, really, really sensitive to the taste of artificial sweeteners. So aspartame, Splenda, uh, sucralose, all of those, it like it makes me gag. Not literally, but like I want to, because it's just like, oh. So I don't know if you guys know there was a a Coke product released not too long ago that was like Coke and coffee mixed together. And when I tasted it, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And then I was like, oh, like it had like an aftertaste of like artificial sweetener, and I was like. This isn't diet, so I looked at the ingredients, and sure enough, it has aspartame. And I was like, oh, well this, I actually would have liked this if they hadn't done that. And the reason they do it is because it keeps the calories down, but like, I hate it. I, I just, I can't. I would rather not have anything than have diet stuff. And maybe that's just me, but um, that's my story. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Remember to drink water. How many freaking bees are there? Get off me. Are there like infinite bees in here or something? Step on them, Chris. Yes, fuck you bees. Okay, they're not stopping, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> ah. No, this puzzle does not work. What is going on? If <laughs> this is Code Veronica. Actually, Code Veronica has the most powerful knife of all the Resident Evil games. Because, uh, well, if you're playing at like 60 frames a second. I have not picked up a single key item. Or weapon. 
Oh, what are these? Because uh, the Code Veronica knife is unique in that it causes damage with every frame that it's in contact with the enemy. Oh, you. what? Chris Redfield. Oh, Richard's dead. There's no way I'll make it to get the serum. <laughs> Suddenly I'm in the awkwarding. Okay. Um, if you send me any snacks, I mean, I can try them in the video. Just know that, like, and I know people are gonna, the reaction I get every time. <gasps> what? Uh, I don't like chocolate, so, um, please don't send me chocolate. Like, sorry, but I can't help it. Oops. No, turn it off. Alright, well, for some reason, Neptune is just sleeping. Wait, how come he's not attacking me? Oh, I have to check the key, right? There we go. See, in my head, all this stuff just happens automatically. So I don't think about it, I just do it. Yeah, no, meanwhile, Richard is just like, where's the serum? Unsubscribe. No, don't unsubscribe. I'm sorry. It's not that I, like, dislike chocolate. It's just, like, I know that I'm missing something because I see people's reaction to chocolate and they're just like, oh my god. And wine. I also don't like wine. Uh, those those seem to go hand in hand, so maybe there's some sort of connection there, but... I'm not... I'm just not a big... Oh, I'm not a big sweets person. Although I will say when I was in Japan, I actually did like sweets because over there they put like a very normal amount of sugar and stuff. Hey Richard, sorry. Don't mind. What? Oh no, better go get the serum. I'm stuck. Oh, I guess I have to wait for him to die, right? Alright, so I'm just going to go in here and drink my Pepsi and chat with you guys while Richard dies. <laughs> No, I mean, like, if any of you guys are not from America and you've tried American desserts, I mean, you guys know it's like, whoa, sugar, like so much sugar. But in Japan, it was just like lightly sweet, just like like a little kiss of sugar. And I was like, oh, lovely. Just tickled the balls. It was, it was great. But, um, yeah, so unless I'm in another country, I probably am not a big sweets person, although... I do have my vices, like carrot cake, tiramisu, ugh. Oh. Alright, I don't want to talk about food anymore, I'm going to get hungry. <laughs> I have not tried Marmite, but I have tried Vegemite, and I didn't mind it. Alright, is Richard dead yet? Oh my god, Richard, die faster. Am I soft locked? Does the game register that I'm like in a different area? Wait, is there not another way out of here? No, I guess not. Uh, I do like whiskey, actually. Uh, that's like probably my favorite like just like a you know like glass of scotch or glass of whiskey on ice it's fine just nurse the drink <clears throat> yeah I guess I shouldn't talk I mean I'm drinking Pepsi which is like a ton of sugar Uh, 25 facts about peers. Hmm. I suppose I could do that. I'll have to look into it, though. Kill the shark? Okay. 
Might as well, I don't have anything else to do in here. There. I killed the shark. Come on. He's gotta be dead by now. Yay, Richard died. I will remember you. Ouch. <laughs> if only you'd gotten that serum in time. Chris, how dare you? I mean, he dies anyway. And the shark tank's already drained. Whoa. Nope, nope. Leave me alone. I don't want any. Send you some calorie mates. Those are good. 25 facts about Marvin. That's one I could do. There's a lot of information on him. I don't know why I didn't think of him before. But yeah, Marvin is like such a... He's such a bro. He's helped so many people in the Resident Evil franchise. <laughs> like, he had a busy night when Raccoon City was going down. Like, there was like the Outbreak stuff, and then there's the Resident Evil 2 stuff, and then the Resident Evil 3 remake now with him and Brad and all that. Oh! Oh! Ah! Whoa! I can't see which direction I'm going. Oh, he's stuck. Can I knife him? Oh god. Alright guys, this is a, a YOLO moment. If I can get close enough just to knife him. Come on Chris, you're so close. Oh, I'm so scared because he's gonna hit me. Oh wait, I can't even hit him. What? I can't hit him. Really? Put some pants on. There are children here. Oh! What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alright, let's do one more. I have to close the game, generate a new seed. We'll do another Chris one, because that was interesting. Items, enemies, doors. Um... Alright, I'm just going to keep the spawns to one, because that was a bit much. Swap all non-key items with self-defense gun? What? <gasps> Hold on, I want to try that. What does that do? Does that mean that every item that's not a key is going to be a self-defense gun? Because that's interesting. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Oh my god, I'm so excited. La 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 la. Okay. That was crazy. Like, Chris just straight up got gang banged by tyrants. <laughs> Resident Evil. But this is why it's fun. Like, to be honest, like, the first two seeds that we were playing weren't that great. But, like, it's just random, so sometimes you just gotta keep doing it until you get something interesting. Let's do Resident Evil 5, Chris. Wow. Top 50 facts about me. No, I could already see the, the comments. <laughs> uh oh, don't do it. There are only. <sighs> Alright, let's see. I'm gonna have to look up and see what other randomizers that there are, because this is really fun. Alright, so this. Oh, self defense gun. So, from what I know, 
the self-defense gun is like a one-hit kill for everything, right? Oh, well, that's kind of dumb because then everything is either a key or a self-defense item. There's no, like, in-between. And also, my inventory is just going to be full of self-defense guns. What the? Oh, it's the dog with the... That was interesting. <laughs> Look at Chris's tiny little gun. He's like, oh yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, if everything is... Oh, health item. Well, I guess I won't need health if everything's one hit. No, I don't want to do this. This is dumb. It's too... There's no, there's no thrill. Ooh, I'm gonna go open the front door and see what comes out. It might be dogs. It might be something else. We might let sharks in or tyrants. You never know. Alright. I'll let whatever's in here kill me and then we'll do a, a proper seed. Oh, it's sharks! <laughs> Could you imagine, like, Jill and Barry find him, and Barry's like, Jill, what happened to Chris? And she's like, he was killed by a shark. And Barry's like, what? <laughs> Stay back. Man, those sharks actually do quite a bit of damage. You'd think there'd be a lot more screaming if a shark was chewing your leg off. He's just like, ow! <laughs> what? I guess he has the death animation of being in water. Alright. I can't just end a game, I have to die. That's just how I play stuff. Okay, Chris, normal, enemies, doors. Uh... Thanks, much appreciated. Take this! Oh, thank you, Dark Hero, for the $5. Just a moment. Alright, generate seed. Play. Oops, I've got like all these things open. That I'm not supposed to have open. Somehow they didn't crash the game, but okay. Uh, Chris, normal. Cool. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Dark Hero. Uh, will I do a 50 facts on every Resident Evil enemy, zombies, hunters, liquors? Hmm. I guess that would have to be like a 50 facts about Resident, Resident Evil enemies, Evil. because there's not enough on each individual enemy type you know what I mean but yeah that's not a bad idea mm, I'm gonna stick with OG Chris before the roids <sighs> stop streaming at the same type as Vosh who's Vosh I'm sure that Vosh is an amazing there are only content creator and I I'm so sorry to be stealing his or her thunder I'm like so out of the loop I'm like what's going on who all right this will be the last the last seed run however far I get is how far I get and then I will be I will be ending this stream there, but oh fuck, it's a hunter. Oh my god, relax, dude. Jeez. Right up my butt. He just needs a hug. Um uh, No problem, James Little. I I completely understand. I 
it's weird because in this mode, like blue herbs are such a commodity. Don't worry about being late. Like with this mode, it doesn't matter because the game is just all over the place. You can tune in anytime. Oh crap, Chris has less items. Lots and lots of herbs. Oh, by the way, this is my favorite description in like all of Resident Evil. There's a lantern lying on top of the supplies. The warm light makes you relax. And then that combined with like the music and it's a save room. It's just like, ah, <sighs> you know? It's almost like the developers intended you to have that reaction. I knew there was something over here. I hate the hunters in this game because like even at full health they'll just lop your head off and then you're dead and it's like really like that's the number one reason that I have lost like not runs but like you know when you haven't saved in a long time and then they kill you and then you just don't want to play anymore like that's happened to me so many times because of hunters and I hate it. Like, they should have it, like, in the the system where, like, they only do that if you have, like, no... Like, if you're on danger, you know? Oh, uh, any advice on heartbreak? Ooh, I don't know if I'm the best person to ask about that. Um, I, I'm not the best person to ask. I'm kind of an asshole when it comes to that stuff. I just... I... I just move on, <laughs> but I, I hope that you're able to recover. You know, I know it's cheesy and overstated, but time does heal all wounds. My advice is maybe get a hobby or find something to focus on until it's all better. I hope that helps. Oh, um, that just reminded me. Um, so like what I just did there, we had like a little interaction or whatever, I was thinking about for my podcast, either having one episode or maybe a segment where you guys, um, kind of like a radio show, uh, it will probably be like done on discord, wait, north, it's north and west, right? Uh, where you guys could like actually call in quote unquote and like ask me a question and we'll like briefly chat before I move on to like the next caller. I think that would be really fun because we we have that weird parasocial thing going on. I know, like, like I sound like an asshole saying this, but a lot of you guys might, you know, and, and I'm guilty of this too, where other YouTubers in my brain tells me like, yeah, that person's my friend, but they don't know who I am. They've never met me. And like, it creates that weird social dynamic and that would be a really great way for me to actually get to know you guys and talk to you you know even if it's just for like a second because I want to know you guys and as my channel's grown I've had to sort of come to terms with that because I oh thank you at Atcherman for becoming bronze thank you so much but you, you know what I mean, right? Like, when, when my channel had fewer people, it was a lot easier to keep tabs on the community. I remembered everyone's name, and then as everything grew, it becomes harder and harder for me to remember who everyone is, and I feel so horrible about that, because, like, you know, I love you guys, and I want to know you guys. So, I don't know if that's a dumb idea, but I think it would be an interesting thing to at least try. And again, also the podcast is like, you know, it's a lot harder. To, why is everything herbs? Did I turn on herb mode or something? Um, just trying to get like guests and stuff is turning out to be harder than I expected. So I was like, screw it, I'll have you guys as guests. And uh, also on that note, um, my game is starting to reach the point that I'm going to have to start getting voice actors together so um 
I'm going to state this again. Do not send me private emails or Instagram messages or Twitter. Please don't do that because there's like a certain way that this is done and I'm not the only one reviewing them. But if you want to be a voice actor and you've got your own recording equipment and you'd be interested in auditioning, keep an eye out for that and do it through the proper channels. I, I have to stress that because I've already, I said this last time and I got so many people messaging me being like, you know, like you're not circumventing, you're not like getting ahead of the curve, like you're just, you're messing up the pipeline. Don't do that. But um, just keep an eye out, out for that. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated because now that I'm working on cutscenes and stuff, I actually like, you know, I can't move any further now without voices because I can't do facial motion capture and all that without the character speaking and you know yeah anyway sorry I just went like on a ah see I knew the arrow oh the hallway was backwards in my head <sighs> oh no please don't kill me I just oh, fuck let me pick this up <gasps> no oh see if he had gotten me right there, that would have been it. I would have been dead. Chris. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gonna, he's gonna lunge. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're all a big dysfunctional family here. We are. We are family. Something, 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 pee-pee. Good <laughs> Chewbacca impression. What is that? Oh, it's a dog. Oh, there's a dagger over there. Or something. What is it? Oh, it's just a dagger. 